You've invented uh, Bayesian networks that look awfully a lot like they express something like causation, but they don't, not necessarily. So how do we turn Bayesian networks into expressing causation? How do we build causal networks? This A causes B, B causes C. How do we start to infer that kind of thing? We start asking ourselves a question. What are the factors that would determine the value of X? X could be blood pressure, uh, death, um, hungry, hunger. But these are hypotheses that we propose. Hypothesis, for everything which has to do with causality comes from a theory. Okay. The difference is only what kind, how you interrogate the theory that you have in your mind. So it still needs the human expert to propose. All right. You need the human expert to specify yeah. the initial model. Initial model could be very qualitative. Just who listens to whom? By whom listen to, I mean one variable listen to the other. So I say, okay, the tide is listening to the moon and not to the rooster crow. Okay. And so forth. This is our understanding of the world in which we live. Scientific understanding of reality. We have to start there. Because if we don't know how to handle cause and effect relationship, when we do have a model, and we certainly do not know how to handle it when we don't have a model. So let's start first. In AI, slogan is representation first, discovery second. Mm -hmm. But if I give you all the information that you need, can you do anything useful with it? That is the first, representation. How do you represent it? I give you all the knowledge in the world. How do you represent it? When you represent it, I ask you, can you infer X or Y or Z? Can you answer certain queries? Is it complex? Is it polynomial? All the computer science exercises mm -hmm. we do, once you give me a representation for my knowledge, then you can ask me, now I understand how to represent things, how do I discover them? It's a secondary thing. So first of all, we, I, I should echo the statement that mathematics and the current M much of the machine learning world has not considered causation that A causes B, Correct. just in anything. So that that seems like a, uh, that seems like a non-obvious thing that you, you think we would have really acknowledged it, but we haven't. So we, we have to put that on the table. So uh, knowledge, how hard is it to create a knowledge from which to work? In certain area, it's easy because we have only four or five major variables. Okay. And uh, an epidemiologist or an economist can put them down. Uh, what the minimum wage, uh, unemployment, policy, X, Y, Z, um, and start collecting data and quantify the parameters that were left unquantified with the initial knowledge. Okay, that's the routine work that you find in experimental psychology, yes. in economics, e everywhere, in the, in the health science. That's a routine thing. But I should emphasize, you should start with a research question. What do you want to estimate? Once you have that, you have to have a language of expressing what you want to estimate. You think it's easy? No. 